Alright, stars, what's up? Welcome to another local band smoker. I'm your host, Tyler Miss BG. And today we're gonna do the album review, an album review for the Rap Scallions, which is a very interesting name. Uh, their song is called Medicinal Incoherence. That's the name of the album. Facebook.com slash Rap Scallions Rock. They're from London, England. And uh, we've got nine records I've already kind of jotted down and put some notes to. So uh, as we, right before I play each song, little snippets of each song, I kind of just rattle off the notes so you kind of, you know, are listening for certain things, I guess you'd say. But uh, first, let's do the sponsors. Royal Blunts, The Turp House, Irie Roots, Extracts, Vape Out, located in Apple Valley. If you're in the high desert, go and hit them up. They will take care of you. Cold Cock Whiskey, Glunt, The King Brand, Boost, AK Integra Products, Dirty Radio, and Rock Ridge Radio. California Care Group, if you live in Southern California, anywhere in Southern California, uh, not anywhere, but within the vicinity of their four locations, call up California Care Group and mention local band Smoke and they'll throw an extra weed in your purchase. It's awesome. Uh, Dave Fitz, who does our free tattoo giveaways, and Dennis with Rove Brand. Check out at Rove Brand on Instagram. They make really, really delicious tasting vape cartridges. So yeah, my, my, cam my camera, which is actually a Canon 7D, for some reason, whenever they made the Canon, uh, I don't know if it's all of them or just this particular model, but the fucking video portion only records like 12 minutes at a time and then it stops. And there's no way to change that setting as far as I know. So um, we're gonna do this in three parts. So you will see a couple of cuts and edits, which I normally don't do, but no big deal. It's about the music. So let's, let's dive right in. Footsteps is the name of the first song. And I got some notes, like I said, I'm gonna rattle off. Uh, the entire record, uh, Medicinal Incoherence, really opens with like a crazy huge big sound, not like but like a really big mix, I guess you'd say. Uh, there's very, very good, awesome, chunky guitars. Most of the songs have really, really cool guitar tones from these guys. And uh, there's a cool little breakdown section at the end, and uh, it's kind of just a catchy little rock record, but I'm trying to get high, hopefully you are. Let's check out the first song from the Rap Scallions called Footsteps. So that was Footsteps, track one, and it should give you a decent example of what the rest of the album is going to sound like as far as instrumentally, vocally, what genre they kind of are, which I would just put as just regular rock, I guess you'd say, no particular, you know, not metal, not, you know, just rock, <coughs> which is cool. Track two is Angry Sun, and I wrote down, I love the guitar in this song, um, <coughs> I really, really like the line, well, I don't really, really like the line, but there's pun intended on that, by the way. All this cocaine messing up my mind is kind of like the hook that repeats in the song. Kind of cool. Uh, and then it has like a nice little solo jam that kind of ends the song. So let's check out track two, Angry Sun. It's really messing up my 
angry son. And if you're just, well, I guess if you're not just tuning, you better have clicked play on the video. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. <laughs> Confusing when I do the radio portion of the show. Um, but yeah, so that was angry son. We're listening to the Rap Scallions out of London, England. Facebook.com slash Rap Scallions Rock. If you like your hair and you want to check out more music from these guys. So the next one we have is Hell on Wheels. It's got a really like grooving, upbeat intro, which is pretty tight. Uh, it kind of has like a new age ZZ Top feel to it. So, like ZZ Top was kind of like known for having just like short, simple guitar riffs. Obviously the beards and the their voices and whatnot, but um, the I was trying to thought. Oh yeah, so these songs kind of have like a new age ZZ Top feel to them. But by that I mean in their own style. But it, for some reason, just kind of reminds me of it, uh, which is a huge compliment I would say. And uh, I wrote down, the last thing I wrote down is, this song is a must for motorcycle fans, especially people that go to Sturgis and check that out whenever they have that yearly thing that's uh, one week long, I believe, in Sturgis. Uh, so anyway, track three, Hell on Wheels. I think it's time for a dab. file they sent me, one part of it said Cobra, or the track listing they sent me said Cobra, but the file actually said Cobra Commander. I really hope it actually is called Cobra Commander, but I wrote down maybe it's called Cobra, maybe it's called Cobra Commander, I'm not sure. This song has a really different feel to it than the first three songs that were on, on the album. Uh, so it's going to kind of go in a little bit of a different direction now from this point on, and it has like a way, way, way cleaner guitar tone. So it's been like a little bit dirty, but in a cool way, like, like a that kind of guitar style, I guess you say, but now this is going to be a lot more pretty. Um, and I actually also wrote down, this could be the possible single off the album. I have no idea if they already did possibly release three singles, shot videos for them, I have no fucking idea. I, I love to go into these things just completely blind, and I discover the band and discover their music all at the same time. Especially when I do like an EP or album review, it's a chance for me to actually just hear you know, the whole album, like take a whole hour to it. and. Uh, like un uninterrupted and just write down all my notes and what I thought about it and that's why I do this. I love it. <laughs> Hope you guys are smoking with me. Let's, let's check out Cobra Commander.
I love those little, those little oo oohs right there. I did notice that I, even though I told you guys it was a cleaner guitar tone, I think the part that I was referring to is actually a little bit earlier in the song. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> but anyway, that is uh, part one. I'll be back shortly with the rest of the review, and we're going to listen to track five, Sound Sandcastles. And welcome back. We're reviewing the Rap Scallions Medicinal Incoherence, Facebook.com slash Rap Scallions Rock. And we're up to track five, Sandcastles. And I really love the guitar tone on uh, this, the whole album so far. I know I mentioned that, but that's what I have written down right here. Uh, this, this song kind of starts off with another sweet riff, too. It's like, it, like I said, remember the last song kind of sends it in a little bit of a different direction? And it kind of almost has like a Tom Morello feel to it at certain parts. And it's, uh, it's definitely one of my favorite tracks so far up to, or on the album so far up to this point. Let's check out Sandcastles. Spark it up if you got it. Six is backstab and uh, kind of continues on with a little bit of that Tom Morello feel to it, um, at least guitar tone wise. And it has like some parts it has kind of like a reminds me of like a funky boingo boingo section. Um, so maybe you'll hear that too. And then I like when it, the my favorite lyric in this one was uh, "Nah, I kick it when you're down." That's kind of the cool part of the song, I should say. But anyway, check out backstab. I'm getting pretty toasted myself. Hopefully you guys are as well. Here we go. Check seven and listen to the Rep Scallions. Facebook.com slash Rep Scallions Rock. Alright, so track seven is called Reasons. And I put uh, vocally, this song actually kind of reminds me of Dave Grohl at parts in the hook. Uh, so see if you hear that. Dave Grohl, obviously, from Foo Fighters. And um, I like the back and forth parts at the end of this song. There's like a call and response kind of thing. Maybe like the backup guitarist or bassist is singing uh, in the background. I don't know. 
And uh, it has like a little bit of a killer's feel at times too, vocally. So it's got a little bit of Dave Grohl feel, a little bit of killer's feel. So a little bit back and forth. But anyway, let's check out Reasons, track seven. that the uh, the clip that I cut didn't even have the where it does the Dave Grohl part well, so you just gonna have to look that song up from them and uh, discover it for yourself so uh, yeah so that concludes part two we'll be right back with part three the finale we've got track eight and track nine to get to and then the overall assessment and the score so we'll be right back we're back part three the Rapscallions I hope we found that right the Rapscallions yeah their album, Medicinal Incoherence, facebook.com slash rap scallions rock, is uh, if you want to find them on Facebook. We've got two songs left to review, and it's uh, track eight, we're up to track eight. Song for the Dead is the name of the title, and it's, uh, it's a really fast grooving song. There's this odd long pause that totally tricked me twice. So uh, if you hear the whole full song, you'll maybe hear that part. Um, there's a bunch of like cool little slide guitar parts that happen too that I really liked. And uh, it gets way more jamming in the fast section in the end. Um, I really like that part where it like, picks up and goes really fast. So anyway, Song for the Dead. I'm super toasted, but still smoking. Hopefully you guys are as well. Let's check it out. size snippet of Song for the Dead. Um, yeah, totally just looked that one up. That's also one of my favorites on the whole album. Um, that one's pretty, pretty rocking. And then from there we have what is one of the weirdest songs I've ever fucking heard in my entire life, I've got to be honest. I think the entire song is strange, and in fact when I did my overall assessment, I, I rated the album based on tracks 1 through 8 to, and did not factor in 9. It's a really odd song, I almost feel like it's a joke song. Um, and uh, it's totally got a different feel to it than the rest of the CD. So, track nine, the final track, is called Bay. B A E. And let's 
take a listen. I just don't understand that one, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, so my overall assessment, and uh, this is pretty much what I wrote down. Well, the rap scallions don't rap. They sure do rock, though. This album was a, a tat, has a bit of like a 90s rock feel to it with elements of funk, slights, influences of Rage Against the Machine, Foo Fighters, ZZ Top, just to name a couple. Um, I really like the, like the dirty guitar tone that's used in a lot of the tracks. I only judge the album from tracks 1 through 8 and not include track 9 because I feel like it's just like a joke song. And uh, my favorites were Song for the Dead, Cobra Commander, and Sandcastles. And I think Sandcastles is actually my favorite. But uh, I'm going to go with an 8.1 out of 10. And I appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys submitting. Once again, you can check them out. Facebook.com slash Rap Scallions Rock. That album was called Medicinal Incoherence with a score of 8.1 out of 10. And uh, they're from London, England. Check them out. Other than that, I'm super, super stoned. So I hope you guys have fun and uh, enjoy the music. Other than that, keep blazing. Oh, yeah. And if you're in a band or, or have a 420 product and want to be on the show, hit me up, facebook.com slash local band smoke out. I'm also on Instagram and Mass Roots and YouTube. Cheers and keep blazing.